Hi there YouTube friends, welcome back to Auntie A's Kitchen. I hope you've been enjoying my Christmas recipe short video series and today it's going to be a longer video. We're going to be making two different types of delicious Christmas flavoured sausage rolls. The meat sausage rolls we're going to serve with some homemade cranberry sauce and the vegetarian sausage rolls which taste amazing are going to be served with a homemade HP sauce. And the best part is they're simple to make and the perfect party food to celebrate Christmas with your family and friends. Walnuts make an excellent alternative to chestnuts if you can't get them and they bring a wonderful added texture to your sausage rolls. Just make sure to break them up into small pieces. When it comes to the mushrooms, feel free to use any that you have on hand. But for me, I like to use the portobello brown mushrooms as they bring a great flavor to the sausage rolls. Make sure to cut them up into small little pieces. You could use a KitchenAid, but as you see in the video, it's actually quite easy to do this by hand. Also at this time, cut up your onion and celery into small pieces. And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. And just to let you know, you can find a list of all the ingredients and the measurements that I use in my recipes in the description below any of the videos that I post online. We'll start by making our vegetarian filling for our sausage rolls. So into your pan, add some butter, then your onions and season them with salt and pepper. As they start to soften, then add your garlic, mix this in and also let this cook for a couple of minutes. Add some smoked paprika, get this also stirred in and let it cook before adding your mushrooms and celery. At this stage, turn up the heat in your pan, mixing occasionally as you want to evaporate some of the liquid from the mushrooms. As you see the water reducing in your pan, add a splash of Worcestershire sauce and a spoonful of Dijon mustard. Give everything a final mix. Let this cook for a couple more minutes before then emptying everything into a bowl to allow it to cool completely. With the first bit of prep done for our vegetarian Christmas sausage rolls, let's now move on to our meat Christmas sausage rolls. In exactly the same way, cook your onions, garlic and celery until they're soft, then empty into a bowl just as we did before and allow this to cool completely. While everything's cooling down, it's going to give you some time to do some final prep. You could use dried herbs in this recipe, but as I've said before, if you can use fresh herbs, it's going to elevate the flavours of your sausage roll much more. Cut up a good handful of parsley and we're going to divide this between the two recipes. Prepare some lemon zest and then finally roll up and finally cut up some fresh sage. I love the flavour of sage and if you do too then you might like my sage and onion stuffing balls recipe that I just recently posted and these go really well with Christmas dinner. The final bit of prep is to prepare an apple and you're going to need half for the vegetarian and half for the meat recipe. And again make sure to cut up your apple into very small pieces. And a quick tip is to squeeze some fresh lemon juice over your apple for both flavour and it's also going to help to slow down the oxidation process. With all the prep done, let's put together our delicious vegetarian Christmas sausage roll. Into the cool down mushroom mix, add your walnuts and breadcrumbs and I've recently just posted a video on how I make my breadcrumbs on the channel. Add half of the apple and the lemon zest and then a good amount of freshly grated nutmeg. You can buy nutmeg spice in the shops but grating it fresh really does make a difference to the taste. Add your parsley and sage, then give everything a good mix. Then we're going to set this aside and let the breadcrumbs soak up all the moisture from the mushrooms before adding any egg. For our meat Christmas flavoured sausage roll, I'm using some minced pork meat that I get from a local butcher. Now you can use a combination of half beef, half pork, or even use all beef. I personally like to use pork meat as it really works well with the apple and the other spices and herbs. Then is all you need to do in the same way as we did with the vegetarian sausage roll is add everything into the bowl and then give everything a good mix. You'll notice in the video after mixing the pork sausage roll mixture I take some of it out and this I'm going to be using in the next shorts video where I make a delicious turkey and cranberry sage and onion stuffing Christmas burger. Finally add just a little bit of whisked up egg into your vegetarian sausage roll mixture until it comes together and then place this into the refrigerator and the rest of the egg we'll use to brush on our puff pastry later. For today I'm using one sheet of shop brought puff pastry but if you can't get pastry where you live or you'd like to make your own then I have a quick rough puff pastry recipe on the channel. Then is all you need to do is to divide your sheet in half. We're going to use half for the vegetarian sausage roll and half for the meat then wrap up and place the half that you're not using back in the fridge so that it stays cool. You can pipe your meat sausage mixture onto the puff pastry but I prefer to use my hand and two quick tips for you is make sure that you place your cylinder just off centre and place your meat sausage mix nice and compact onto your puff pastry. Brush some water down one side of your pastry then roll over your pastry over the sausage roll pressing down with your fingers to make a seal and then finally roll the sausage roll onto its seam. Next make some cuts along your sausage roll, cutting about three quarters of the way through, then carefully place your sausage roll onto an oven tray covered in baking paper, making a reef shape. Turn each slice slightly upwards, then place this back in your refrigerator to stay cold. 
Now that our meat Christmas sausage roll is finished, we can work on our vegetarian sausage roll. In the same way, place your vegetarian sausage mix onto your puff pastry. Then again, brush some water down one edge, fold over your puff pastry, and then you're going to push with your fingers to seal it shut. We're going to present our vegetarian Christmas sausage rolls in a slightly different way. So using a fork, crimp the edges as you see me doing in the video. Then cut individual sausage rolls and place these onto your baking tray. If you want to keep your meat and your vegetarian sausage rolls completely separate, then I recommend baking them on different trays. Evenly space out all of your sausage rolls because the puff pastry will expand as it cooks. Then pop this back in your refrigerator for about 20 minutes before cooking. Just before they go into the oven, give them a generous egg wash and this is going to help them to go a golden colour as they cook. And I like to put a slit into my sausage rolls for presentation and it's somewhere to put the sauce later. After this, I'll then sprinkle some sesame seeds over the vegetarian sausage rolls and this will also help to tell them apart at a party. Then place your sausage rolls into a preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. When they come out of the oven, place them straight onto a cooling rack so that they stay crispy. Leave them there for about 20 minutes before then putting them onto your serving plates, finishing with a sprinkling of fresh parsley. So here we have some mouth-watering Christmas meat and vegetarian sausage rolls, crispy on the outside with the flavours of Christmas inside. You can serve them with some homemade HP sauce or cranberry sauce and you can also find both of these recipes on the channel. I love a good Christmas flavoured sausage roll served with cranberry sauce, but today the vegetarian sausage rolls stole the show. And I think you're going to enjoy these flavours too. So as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.